Hey gang, and welcome to the Carbohydrates series here on JoeChem. Okay gang, so before we jump into any of the content in regards to carbohydrates, I just wanted to say this series, in my opinion, is a little bit of a interesting part of organic chemistry. Don't worry, there's still gonna be reactions and mechanisms, but a little bit less than the amount we are used to having them in a given series or chapter, or whatever you wanna call a unit, for example. Carbohydrates is a bit more structure, naming, um, nomenclature, uh, terminology focused. So if you find it a bit dry, I'm sorry, that's kind of just the way it is, at least, you know, carbohydrates in the context of an organic chemistry class. And you might need to memorize some stuff. You might need to memorize names of sugars, three carbons long up to six carbons long. And you know, whether they're aldehydes or ketones in, the sh in terms of the sugars, just wanted to put that out there, but I do have a reference sheet that goes along with the work, the one worksheet for this series. And it shows you all the names for aldoses, three carbons long to six carbons long and ketoses. Uh, in that you know same carbon length range. Having said that, what will we do in carbohydrates? Well, this lovely overview list right here, we will be doing, but not limited to, you know, identifying sugar characteristics. Now when I talk about a sugar, right, I kind of mean a monosaccharide, a sugar that is one unit long. So we're gonna be able to kind of describe how many carbons are in that sugar, whether it's a D sugar, whether it's an L sugar, and a whole bunch more stuff. We'll be able to actually name those sugars based on the characteristics we identify. We're going to talk heavily about this hemiacetal equilibrium. We're going to see sugars in straight line forms, but they love to be in their cyclic form, five and six carbon uh, rings, specifically six, because we know six is really great. We're going to talk about what an epimer is. You're going to know what epimerization is. We're going to do reactions. No surprise there. Oxidation, reduction, a whole bunch of other stuff too. Lengthening, shortening sugars. And last but not least, we're going to talk about disaccharides. So gang, Buckle up, let's get into some sugar.